okay good day everyone i'll be trying to review an important device uh, when we are trying to enable dual audio in our android devices as we know dual audio is a function or option that we have on all the flagship level phones but not in normal budget phones i've uh, tried looking or searching for videos which which allows us to enable dual audio on youtube as to how to enable dual audio on normal phones but there are a few videos which are sort of uh, you know fake uh where where the actual phone doesn't have that function but they said so that uh it is possible to uh, uh, enable dual audio now my phone is a51 and um, dual audio is not an option that it has so i am trying to do that so the device that i'm using is uh, warlo tx40 uh, so this is not an uh, promotion of the device but just to make aware that all the other individuals uh, that th this is possible even for the phones which doesn't have dual audio built in okay now the listed item on aliexpress doesn't say that this is compatible with android devices it all <coughs> mentions about only about the uh, you know playstation uh, nintendo or pc etc but since I was so desperate that I wanted to try it out on my Android device. I bought one piece. It's not that expensive, maybe a couple of dollars. So you can try it out, um, even you know if it is for a waste. But I don't think so. I'll try it out and see. So this is the box which it comes in, and it has some specs on it, like uh, it's compatible with uh, PCs. Uh, two audio devices can be connected to that some uh, it's compatible with windows uh, it acts as a microphone etc and it has some specs uh, mentioned on that so this is plug and play so you won't need any additional softwares to install this so i've already tried this on my android phone and even the android phone doesn't need any you know drivers to run it it's plug and play the device itself has a reasonable good finish it has an adapter as well as the device the adapter enables it as an otg device which for which you can plug it into any android device or type c uh, ports in your laptops and it is also comes with a small instruction manual one side is english and other side is in chinese so i'll be basically testing my this device with my XB900N Sony and Sony WF1000XM4 uh, both are Bluetooth devices Bluetooth the uh, earbuds and headphones so as you can see let's pull it out from the plastic case as you can see it has a good quality finish like most of the other you know so called brands even though they are chinese uh, it has a reasonable good quality finish so this is how you will see as and when you plug it into the uh, mobile device so this blue and red light blinking Uh, is a signal that the device is ready for pairing so th for the first time when you plug it into the android device it will blink like this which says that it's ready for pairing okay so once you switch on the pairing mode of your audio device it will automatically get connected to the bluetooth dual audio dongle so when we are trying to connect the next device what you need to do is you need to switch off the first device that you've already connected so the bluetooth dongle will start searching for the new device then get your second device into the pairing mode so that similarly just like how it connect to the first device the second device will also get connected after that you can 
switch on the first device and first device will automatically get connected to the uh, bluetooth dongle and it will start playing music from both the devices now let's see how it's happening the red and blue light blinking is the indication of the device is ready for pairing once the blue light is steady that means it has paired with one of the devices so what you can see over here is that it has got connected to both the devices and it's ready to play audio with both the devices okay now the first device is playing some music Now I will connect the second device, I have taken it out, ok now it has got connected and it's playing music. Now you see that uh, when, it, when the second device get connected, the music will auto pause, so I am playing it again and uh, the usual functionality of uh, WF1000MX4 is that when you pull it out from the ear, it automatically will sense that it's off from the ear and post the music right so because of that i need to uh, i'm just playing it again okay let me hold the sensor and show it to you that it's continue to play and let me get this to closer to the microphone So when I pull it out, I'm going to put it back in the case. So now only the headphones are pairing the see now only the headphones are playing the music. And uh, when I let's see when I pull out the earbuds, it will automatically get connected again to the second device and I need to play it manually uh, you know see so that's a proof that you know both the devices are connected to one Bluetooth device and uh, it's playing uh, music from both the devices Now something that I have already observed is when you plug the device into the adapter and when you plug the whole uh, device and the adapter in as a set into the uh, phone that it wouldn't probably recognize it but you need to first plug in the adapter then the device so that the Android device will recognize that an external device is connected. And once that is connected, if you, are, if you have already paired it with any devices, it will start blinking the blue light. So that, uh, it, that, that is an indication that it is looking for or searching for any uh, prepared devices. Now let's see how it works with the laptop. So windows just uh, same no difference plug and it will start searching for now this is already paired with my the two devices so it will start searching for the headphones and you know, when you switch on the headphones it will get automatically connected and when you switch off switch on the second device then again it will uh, start get connected so no difference once it's connected the blue light will keep uh, steady the manual has 
some instructions saying that certain colors of the device indicates that it's processing certain codecs like green for certain codec red for certain codec etc as long as you know the head both the headphones plays the music that's all i need so i didn't go to the extent of looking at what what's the codec etc but you know regardless whether it's a laptop or a pc laptop or a pc what i what, what i want to show is that this device enables or this device makes your phone a dual audio enabling phone now i am doing the same test that i did uh, while using the android device uh, similarly i'm just uh, playing some audio file on youtube and just showing you that both the devices are playing the headphone and the uh, earbuds both are playing the music now one more thing that i want to check out is that uh, the instruction manual states that this uh, device is capable of uh, acting as a uh, microphone as well so as you can see this is a uh, you know over here uh, output and input device so it yes the system recognizes is that it has a input device and as a microphone so i am just testing the uh, sensitivity or you know intake of the audio and yes it is functional so as you can see uh, the device uh, indicates that it's hearing some sort of a noise and it's capable of transmitting that instruction or signal into the laptop so uh, this is a good device uh, if you want to you know share music with your loved ones uh, listen to uh, any lectures or anything like that on your phone when you go out for jogging uh, when you are listening to a lecture on your um, pc uh, if you want to share any audio uh, with another person it's just a matter of plugging it in and playing it so that the, both the uh, audio devices headphones or earbuds will start playing and you know there's no issue of uh, trying to plug multiple devices cables connecting trying to figure out as to how to share the audio so you know if you, if you've got something out of this video that's all i need